COVID's chucked that at us the last year and a half anyway. Last year it was four in a row against Australia and then two against Argentina. This year it's been three in a row against Australia and two in a row against Fiji and now it's two in a row against Argentina. So it's the way of the world. You know, you've got to turn it into an advantage. The, the flip side is that the opposition get to know you too. So we we're expecting a response out of them and they would have learnt some things and we, we saw some of their tactics change in that second half. So I'm sure that they've smart enough to learn a bit about how to play us. We've got to make sure that we, we show that we're, we're smarter than that. You know, it, it is a matter of using, using the squad through this process. Five tests in a row is, is sort of kind of demanding that. We were able to put a number of these people on the park anyway last week, particularly in that second half, so they've already had a really good taste of what it is to play the Argentinians. And an example of that is like Damien and and Quinn playing together and, and I guess alongside Rico. Great to see Samasoni get a start and you know he's a player who's played really really well for us and been quite impressive and you know it was a game that we were looking to play a suffer again um, but you know a, a calf that's just bruised and not quite right just uh, has given Samasoni another opportunity and when we looked at you know Akira and Dalton both with Knox you know we're moving Ardy to seven by playing them at seven, it's really a, a great opportunity for us to, to put Hoskins on the park. And, you know, we know what the, the, the what a wounded beast is like. We, we understand that, but it's actually the key is it's not so much about how they respond; it's how we respond. And you know, we're under pressure because you have a good win last week. If we go in thinking it's going to happen again without earning the right to to have a scoreboard, you know, in our favour, then then we're in trouble.